Our next presentation comes from Aaron Hannan, who is co-founder and the CEO of Luminite Medical, a company which aims to build medical devices that prevent the side effects of cancer treatment. The company's first product is a device to prevent chemotherapy-induced hair loss, developed by Aaron alongside co-founders Dr. Barbara Oliveira and Professor Martin O'Halloran. The team is now raising funds to power inpatient clinical trials beginning next year. Aaron, your three minutes start now. We're Luminate Medical, and we're building a device to prevent hair loss caused by chemotherapy. I'd like to begin with a quote from a patient we interviewed recently who is undergoing treatment for breast cancer. She said, losing your hair is what makes you realize what's really happening to you. It reminds you every day. It's the hardest part of the whole chemotherapy experience. At Luminate, we're on a mission to relieve patients of the burdens of side effects of cancer treatment. To do this, we've built a novel compression therapy, which we use to prevent drug delivery to specific target areas of the body. That means that we can target and prevent the side effects of drugs like chemotherapy. Using this approach, we've built a medical device to prevent chemo-induced hair loss. The Lily device is a portable, comfortable, self-contained cap which patients can use to prevent hair loss during chemotherapy. They wear it during and for 90 minutes after every chemotherapy treatment to prevent hair loss in a simple, comfortable, and effective way. We've already used our approach to prevent hair loss across a 120 animal study, and we've shown our device is safe and effective at minimizing drug delivery to the hair follicles in a clinical study with healthy humans. Our next step is a clinical study with patients beginning next year. Every year, three million cancer patients in the US and Europe are at risk of hair loss because of their chemotherapy treatment, creating a $4.5 billion market opportunity. With over 84% of cancer patients buying a wig at an average spend of $1,000 each, there's huge demand in the space. We've already had unprecedented demand to trial our product, leading to partnerships with Yale Cancer Center and Mass General Hospital. But solving chemo-induced hair loss is only our first indication. We're developing a portfolio of products based on the IP we've already filed that will revolutionize quality of life care for cancer patients. Our team combines the necessary clinical, technical, and commercial expertise to execute on this opportunity. As CEO, I bring the experience of being a serial entrepreneur. Our CTO has built medical devices and run clinical trials for cancer patients and our team is completed by the director of BioInnovate and the former CEO of Slendertone. We're already funded by Enterprise Ireland's DTIF program, Y Combinator, and Peter Thiel, among others. And investors in our business have access to exciting exit opportunities, with pharmaceutical strategics already showing inbound interest in our company. Precedent exits for comparable companies have ranged from 100 million at FDA approval, all the way to $1 billion exits in less than 10 years. We're seeking the right partner to accelerate our mission to change the face of cancer treatment. Because life is about more than just surviving. Life is about living. Thank you. Thank you very much, Aaron. Aaron, what's in this cap that when you wear it, it can prevent hair loss? So we have a pneumatic bladder system which covers the surface of the scalp inside the cap. And what that does is it applies our unique compression therapy and allows us to prevent drug delivery to the hair, protecting it from chemotherapy while it's being metabolized by the body. So this particular cap, is it used once or is it something that would be used for the full duration of uh, chemotherapy treatment? Yeah, so every time a patient comes back for chemotherapy treatment, they wear this device while they're receiving their infusion and then for 90 minutes afterwards. And the key benefit with our portable device is that the patient can leave the clinic during that time and go home and continue their life. Is it reusable though or is it, or is it just for one patient or can it be shared between different patients? So our device is specific to each individual patient that's using the technology, and it's really important that we know who's using the device, because for safety reasons, we're, sub, uh, we're restricted to treating only patients with solid tumors. So we need to make sure that the patient that's using the device is the one that we think is using the device. Okay, and how much is it likely to cost? So initially, the device will cost $1,500 when we produce it on the US market for the first time. However, we're working really hard on uh, getting reimbursement, and recently there's been reimbursement codes introduced for this need, so that patients will actually only have a small copay, and insurance will cover the bulk of the cost. How difficult is it going to be to get a manufacturer to the required standards? 
So that's definitely a really interesting question for us, and we're really happy to partner with local SMEs, such as Gentian Services, who are based in Shannon, who are helping us to manufacture this product to the highest possible standard. How far have you gone in the development of it? So we're really excited to just be about to launch our first inpatient studies, which is really exciting for us, and we'll see our first patients experiencing the benefit of the Lilly technology. And then will that mean looking for FDA approval? Off the back of that, we'll be going for 510k approval to launch in the US market at the start of 2024. Aaron, thank you very much for being with us Thanks today. Best of luck for the future with that.